previously on the skunk ape experiments. Our goal is to push this fucker into the field where Bill will be set up and waiting. Uh, making their way to the same exact spot we saw that Bigfoot seven years ago, which is crazy. That thing's huge, bro. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and how did you even notice him? How could you not? <laughs> Eight <laughs> foot tall. The reason why I think it crushed me is because I've seen so many of them. Uh, we're about to do something that we've kind of done before, but never to this level, dude. You're going to take ritual magic and drugs together. We live an offering, like I'm telling you. Until you see it, that means nothing. Hey, I need all you guys to move through now. Ten! Ten! Yo, ten! I guess what are we in for tonight? Man, we're gonna try to get these dogs on the hog and just really get him captured, get him tied, or we can put that collar on him. I mean, if we get on a big one, it could be dangerous. I mean, that's where me and Lane will step in and we'll get it under control. We're a little bit more experienced where we can get around places where we know that we're not gonna get hurt, you know, just keep y'all right. safe and stuff. And I mean, keep the dogs safe. We're gonna try to get them off as quick as possible. Try to keep the hog from not getting so tore up where we can release it again. So, so when you say the dangers, what I mean, th this is a possibility. This is probably on a 150, 200 pound boar hog. This is the full tooth coming off in his head. About that much is sticking out. Yeah. So you got that much sticking out of his mouth. If he comes up to you and he gets a hold of you, that can do some damage. So that's what we're trying to prevent. We're trying to stay away from his head, get on his tail end, get him tailed, get him legged, and then get him flipped over. Once he's on his side and we're on top of him, it's done. Uh, the last time I did this with you, uh, we had to swim a creek. Yes, <laughs> yes, that, 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 that very well might happen. I mean, we were sitting there, I was like, cause I'm thinking, all right, we're in like South Florida, it's Gators. nighttime mm -hmm. and this canal is super sketchy <laughs> and he's like we gotta get it's gonna drown the dog yep, yep, and we there. went in but dude i them dogs give like you their own oh, so you gotta scared, give them bro, bro. <laughs> because of, they're splashing around and i'm like oh my gotta god gotta put that gator dude. in the back of your mind that's right oh yeah right because <laughs> we went <laughs> you know but
So we're standing near where the pigs are being kept. Hey, you guys There's ready? all pigs around it. And we're about to go. Let's go. Let's go. everybody, Rich Suggs here on WKDW 97.5 FM. It is Real Community Radio in Northport, Florida. Wow, this is one of my favorite days that I've been here. Wow, I, I'm kind of speechless because I've never been around the skunk ape before. But he's here, he's in the studio, and we're going to be talking to him and his handlers. So uh, can we, we talk to Sasquatch? Or... <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Um, Stacy Brown Jr. I've heard about you somewhere. Have you? Yeah. Well, probably if we're looking for the skunk ape. That's um, America's Most Wanted. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, I've been on a few episodes of Cops. <laughs> 2011, I had my first encounter. And then in 2012, uh, me and my father captured uh, what's known as the brown footage. It's a thermal image at Torreya State Park of a uh, of a skunk ape, you know, and it's it's people try to debunk it. We have tried to debunk it ourselves. Is that the one that was going between trees? Yes. Yeah. You see it, it's kind of like it's black. Yes. You know, it's a thermal footage. Oh, yeah, that's that was... absolutely true. Is there a difference between a Sasquatch and a skunk ape? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm from Maine. I'm from way up north, and, and our, our critters look a lot different than your critters down here, you know. So, Do uh, they smell any different? Well, yeah, actually, from what I hear, yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay, so, um, is it like species different, like the difference between a, a cat and a dog? <laughs> no, no, it's basically, uh, I think, the same basic creature, but there's a, a rule in uh, biology, I think it's called the Bergman's rule, so basically anything closer to the equator gets smaller in size. So why here, why now? Uh, well, so in 2013, yep. we were all down here, a video came out of the state park from a guy named Michael Falconer. Okay, so once that thing hit the internet, we immediately came down. Well, we are out here uh, on the scene at the Mayaka uh, State Park. And the first thing I see when I'm coming up, there's people pulled all over on the sides of the roads looking in this field at the animals. There's just animals all over the place. We're headed out here now. Gonna see if we can get some tracks or something. But uh, so then in the state park, uh, that, that two weeks, we were, we were doing a push through the woods where we were all kind of spread out and then we just, we actually encountered the thing. This thing, it went, it went over and then it went up. Hey, I, like I said. Because when I got up with them, I said, where are they at? I could still hear it up here. Whatever it was, it was big. And you know, to be, uh, to be honest, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation the way we are right now if I wouldn't have messed up back in 2013. So long story short, I forgot to hit the record button and uh, we totally blew it. I, I blew it, you know what I mean? Okay. So like, uh, so we're back here trying to like, give me another chance to hit that record button, you know, because uh, I think there's an extremely good chance that the skunk ape is right here in this area. And are you so, saying that there are actually squatch sightings in the city limits? I, just on the you know the outside of the city limits right. and I think they're coming through for whatever reason uh, right. because people are seeing them along the roads and you know this whole trip has just this has all happened organically we didn't plan to come in here we didn't know about coming in here right. until yesterday no, I, so absolutely. it helps us out because we're still looking for leads we're still here till Thursday so if anybody can get a hold of you you know uh, right. let us know we are looking for if you've had an encounter here recently um, because there is so much forest. We're trying to find that needle in the haystack and it's gonna be people that have seen them while they're driving home or while they were taking the trash out or something like that. That is gonna end up helping us out tremendously. Yeah, we're, at, we're looking for something active right now. Yeah. So if there's anyone out there that has seen anything, uh, definitely get a hold of us. We done, we done messed it up because, look here, yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm, just I'm telling you, that moon's right there. Yeah. 
and they should, and they should be coming through here. Or it's just hunt time. Why do you think we messed it up, or just? Well, everybody being here, unusual. Yeah. What it is, they're unusual, something different. They don't like it. I think we'd be okay just going down the road a little bit, checking it out. You ought to get crap thrown at you. You think so? Yes, sir. Just because of all the stuff that's went on? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, but, we, we'd like to try it out to see if that's all right. Rock down yeah, the road. But, like I said, they are either going that way or come this way. Okay. Because they spend the day over here. Yeah. What I found out. Oh, and another thing, too. Remember that cross is right out here where I said the bear tracks were? Yeah. You might want to take your flare or whatever. Yeah. And look out there. Okay. Because Miss Lynn has got cameras on her house. That's why they don't use that no more. Right. They don't like the cameras. They don't like the cameras. Yep. She put them cameras up after the the one squat she got on her hood. That's what it does. They hood. put them up there and they don't. Yes. Yeah. It scared them off. It's like yeah. an electric. They know or something for them. I feel like we're on Blair Witch right now. We're going in the woods. So we're going cool. after. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Watch us actually get attacked by Bigfoot talking shit. So how do you feel about this? You scared? No, I'm kind of uh, hoping we get some shit thrown at us like you said. It's kind of my hope. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, how do you not come out here and walk down the road when he tells you, like, you're going to get stuff thrown at you, man? You, you got to yeah. do it. And then he had me get in his truck and drive it earlier tonight, and he said, I'm going to show you this, and he crossed right here, and then he came out right over here, and they're up, here's where they come from, and then the one kid we had uh, talked to down there, and I'm thinking, well, if this is to be believed, there's a lot of activity in this whole area, and a lot of it emanating from between that swamp and this uh, these woods back here so we're going to be right in the middle on this road right my question has always been like why would a bigfoot walk out into the open into the road or like any of that do you guys have any theories on that supposedly they use the path of least, least resistance sometimes you know well, from convenient. point a to point b like yeah. and that's where it is yeah that roads like... happen to be there but you're ex-military man that's not a tactical maneuver like y y that that's not what you would do is it like I don't know. What do, you, what do you think you would do if you were a Bigfoot? It depends. Like if you're under duress, I mean, yeah, you stay in the woods. But if you know, you're just trying to get from point A and you're not worried about anything, then just. You know. Nice fucking job, dude. That was intense. While he was doing that, the rim pod started going crazy. Um, and, and you see, it's just, it's not doing anything. But when he was, when he was doing the chant, it was going nuts, man. And so, what we're doing now, because we know there's something here, that thing just went off. All right, so my name is Bill, this is Stacy. It just said it's working. I heard it. It just said it's working and then that went off. I heard Bill. And uh, dude, I got chills. Yeah. I just felt that. That was weird. Is there anyone in here right now? That said you. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know who lives in this house. Tell me the name of the family who lived in this house. Dude, I swear if they get hurt, I heard you say Kate and then people. Yes. <clears throat> Did you just say Kate and then people? What? 
Dude, did you hear that? Well, that was weird. Yeah, that was perfect. So, uh, even our audio guys, like, yeah, I heard it. So, so what people are here? Can you tell me who's here besides what I would call the living? You know, who else is here? Are you praying for them? Pray for them? Dude, that was crazy. That was like a whole sentence. Yeah. Nice. If there's someone in here, I'd like for you to touch this thing in order to like communicate with me. If you can light it up once, it means yes. Light it up twice, it means no. Are you a male? Oh, that's cool. So, uh, we had a camera guy just come down and say that the candles upstairs where RPG is, it's got like brighter and dimmer, right? All right, so this thing just clicked off once. Is there someone sitting beside me right now? It has to be. Let me try this SP, or this, uh... Yeah, I like that one a lot. Okay, hey. Just for, just for reference, I believe there is a spirit in this. Really? That has never left. Wow. So... Um, I'm gonna ask for it to talk to me, and it has a certain name. That name is, uh, what is it? Beth. Beth. Okay? Yeah, do you want water? Yeah, just toss me. Use Beth. Mm -hmm. I think it said Beth one time when we were, uh, It did. Yeah. It said Beth everywhere I've been. I never hear Beth on the radio. I went to a place where Beth was murdered. Oh, wow. And I got... 42 times out of this spirit box in seven minutes. Was that you, Beth? <laughs> wow. I right. mean, she's in this box because I don't close my sessions. Yeah. I want something to happen. Gum? Gum. I'm chewing gum. Red. Red. That's red. You know who I want to talk to? Like, ah, you're gone. Oh. Brock. Brock. RPG? Did it just, I think it just said RPG. Yeah. That, was, that was like two different voices. Did you hear it? No, it was amazing. It happened so fast <laughs> that, like, it was like hockey, you know? Like, that's I can't right. tell what's going on, that's you right. know what I mean? But it's amazing. That's right. We heard them scatter from these other hogs, and we yeah. just give them one second. They jumped in whenever they come around. I knew I had to turn that other dog loose real quick. Yeah, no, and the girls are cool about it. Just get them. She's just like, get over here. I'm like, no, nobody's afraid of fingers? Do you teach how to do that, though? Would you um, teach people to... How to what? Leg and tie? Yeah, leg and tie. Leg and tie. Yeah. I want mean... the rush that he has right now. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see if we can get another one. We'll, we'll hang for a bit and yeah. see if that's possible. Well, what, what we'll do is we'll throw him in the pen. Yeah. And just where the dogs can't get to him again, we'll keep on walking. We'll see if we can go catch a big one. Hell yeah, man. So at least we got one for the collar now. We yep. can see where and he goes. Perfect and... size. So yes, sir. Absolutely. You guys deliver. Let me tell you. <laughs> now let's go catch the 400 pound one. <laughs> and I want your blood. They've turned June loose. June, can we go with them? Get the camera. Hold on. Hold. 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 No, get in front. Hey, baby, Matt, feed her. Hold on. 
Y'all good with the camera? Yeah. Right. I signed up for this? Yes, you did. <laughs> Thought I was badass. They're searching. They don't act like that hog pulled out at all. I mean, he's stuck down hidden. Yeah, he done squatted. Is he cut again? Yeah. Come here. Come here. Buster, here. Here. Buster, come here. Come here. Buster, come here. Here. Right here. Come here. Buster. This is in January 2002, mm -hmm. probably the second or third Sunday. I know cold front pushed through, uh, about 67 degrees. Um, I know what I was wearing. <laughs> uh, I still have it, believe it or not. And um, my wife and I were coming down this road, and we were just skating along. And um, about a block up there, we had stopped and saw the big creature in the swale down there. And I thought, Lord, that's a huge dog. That's a big ass dog. So we skated a little bit more about halfway down between this block and that block and we stopped and I said, you know, we should have brought a leash. I wish we would have had leashers. You know, we should have, if we had a leash, it'd be great because we could, we, who takes a leash when you're skating, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. So we hmm, looking at this thing and it just, it just, I couldn't get over how big it was. I'm like, this has got to be a huge dog. And it's kind of like a, a reddish brown. So I'm thinking some type of a setter or something. So we got to right about here, and as we stop, I'm looking at the profile of this thing. You know, yeah, two legs, body in the middle. All of a sudden, in the middle, boom, head pops up, and it's a big black face, and uh, it just popped up like, like that, and just stared at us, and it kind of like ran through the swale about uh, 12 to 15 yards in the swale, and stopped again, and as it stopped, it looked at us and it kind of drifted up the swale it didn't like lumber like uh like a you know anything a four-legged animal would lumber it just like drifted kind of like almost like a spider you know huh. just like, it came up on this and this stop it right in the middle of the uh like came up and stopped this way facing us and that thing about a third of the of the roadway it was huge i couldn't get over how big it was and i'm thinking Okay, I don't know what this is. It's huge. It's it's the colors. It's not a bear because I know what a bear looks like, and I mean I'm not stupid. I know I know animals for the most part. I yeah. grew up in Florida. Not that I'm a woods guy, but I know bears. I know animals. Um, so I'm going through my head. Okay, a lot of hair. Maybe it's a lion, and thinking that this you know this is all going like what's going through your head. Oh, yeah. And I'm looking at this thing as it came up and stopped in the roadway. I looked at my wife and said, baby, we got to go. We got to go now. And so she turned and we turned and 
she was skating and I got behind her. I just started pushing her and I was, we were pushing it pretty hard because I was just, I was scared for my life. I'm thinking, what in the hell is this thing? Because it was, as it came at us, it just like picked up speed immediately and the legs almost like swirling like this in a way. And you can see hair six to eight inches off the, uh, the front and around the face. The face was really black, but you can see the, the eyes were dark, dark eyes. It was almost weird how you could see just a black face and dark eyes that almost shined at you. But they shined at you like they were looking through you into your soul. And I felt like I was dinner. And I know the people probably haven't been eaten by these things, but who would know? If I was, if they, if that thing took me and my wife, no, you wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. You had no clue. So probably observe the thing for almost two minutes with the visual coming up to it and then all the the incident yeah. and it was clear day I mean it was 145 in the afternoon and right? so it wasn't like it was dusk or anything it was completely clear I just couldn't hippo? get over it. what how wide is this thing and it just didn't move um, locomotive process was completely uh, just fouled me I just don't understand how it could move like that so fast it almost and it didn't bob the shoulders didn't move one thing that really freaked me out because it was just like and this Gliding. was on two legs, or was he doing four this four-legged? So he was doing so this I'm, motion. I'm thinking, I'm not thinking anything but, you know, a four-legged creature. I can't think of anything that would be on four legs. Hmm. I never thought it would be possibly a skunk ape until probably 10, 15 years later. No, about 12 years later, I think. We saw something on TV. It was like, oh, they run on four legs? I mean, I remember distinctly the eyes were, were black and shiny and looking at you. Um, the, uh, the hair was like six to eight inches long. Yeah, no, just weird, man, just weird. Could you hear it? Was it breathing? Could you hear any breath or nothing? No, was, not it feet was like hitting this, the ground or anything? And it was weird because there was no cars, there was no sound, there was no birds sounding, there was just dead silence. Mm. And that's the first time I've ever had something like that where it's recognizable situation where it's like completely weird yeah. silent. It's silent, just, just bizarre. Yeah. So when you Obviously, it still bothers you. I mean, I can see goosebumps, your legs shaking at times, you're getting choked up. I don't know why. And so, I guess it's one of those PTSD things. And so, like, how terrifying was it for you? Because you're just looking at the thing, right? And then it just starts coming at you, so you, you have that, oh shit moment. Yeah. People say, uh, yeah, you shouldn't run from animal bullshit. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, of course. And they ain't been they, in that situation. They, they weren't here. <laughs> Easy for them to say. They right. weren't here. This way and then back this way? I think it's that way. Yeah, this yeah. way to the turn. Then we can walk down the end by that one kid's yeah. Yeah, yeah, I want to go to the scary spot. Yeah, <laughs> I want to go up. Get nailed in the head with a rock. Oh, is that a fleer? Yeah. Cool. Which one is that? Scout. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade soon. Big upgrade. What do these run now? Okay. Yeah, I'd like to have one of those. Those are cool. I'm, I'm gonna upgrade to a Pulsar. It's the one that Cliff and uh, Bubbo recommend. It's like four grand. Jeez. But it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Like you can see all the detail. So if there's something standing by a certain tree, you can see that tree and you can go to it. Right. What do we hear out there? Is that just like the road? I think so. Wow. You wouldn't think Bigfoot would be this close to the road either. I know, right? You'd think it'd be out in like the wilderness where like no one is ever at. You'd think it'd be in the 1% of the 99% or the 1% of the 100% of the places to be. You know, like he should be like unfindable. Like with this, uh, with the point you just brought up, and the point you know you just brought up was the fact that it doesn't seem logical based on 
something built for stealth to put them, themselves in this position. And you almost wonder if certain areas, there's a reason they're there, whatever the reasons are for that particular area in that particular time, like this whole area, these people reporting it, you know, and it hasn't always been that way here. This right. is 2016 to now. Yeah. He's talking about people being chosen too. You know. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not I don't sure know how if I feel it's an there. area that's chosen or people. I hope I'm not chosen tonight by one of these fucking snakes that are around <laughs> the side of this right here. Oh yeah, you got you got a thermal. You could like look for the snakes. It's a light. I think that's a light. There's a street light on the top right. Yeah. I think that's just light. Are you like, don't you know who I am? I'm Bill Brock. Famous cryptozoologist and Bigfoot hunter. You know me. You'd be like, oh yeah, it's okay. that property when you go through they have two big holes and on the one on the right has it says uh, Bigfoot area the oh, sign man. seriously yeah over here yeah and that property we're not going to yeah, yeah. should we let out a Bigfoot call anybody here good at him get this to some whoops let's go We open the portal. Oh God! Stop! Please stop! I heard please stop. Did you just to ask me to stop? So you're asking us to stop? Why? Beth, are you here? Beth, speak to me again, please. Beth, sound like Beth? Yeah. Can you tell me anything? Buck Knight. I heard Buck Knight. Yeah, yeah. You know whose last name that is? Uh, that's Roger's last name, buddy. What? I swear to God. Oh, that's crazy. Bigfoot. Did you? I, did you hear Bigfoot? Actually, I swear to God, I heard Bigfoot. Who are you talking to? Alistair. Alistair? I heard something close to that. Our sound guy just said it sounded like Alistair. Can you give me your name? 
Brown. 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 What? Dude. Not my name. Bro. <laughs> Grab that thing over there. I'll, I'll I'll leave you alone. Thank you. Help who? Is that help him? Are you talking about RPG? Because I just felt a need to go talk to him. Do we need to go help RPG? Grab that rim pod. We're gonna go check on an RPG and try to contact you up there, right? Oh, I wanna take that upstairs with me. Oh, yeah. That's pretty slow. Does it check hold it on? No. Oh. Some of you do, though. Um, sorry, buddy. Uh, oh, yeah, you got a flashlight. all finally left that there were like bugs in here and then when we were going I don't know if it's just because I'm fucking zoned out yeah but the shadows and the lights behind me kind of like when but I kept staring and staring and then finally I I just it it just this is what it looked like to me they were all like their hands, like they were kneeling around those candles and it was like a campfire. And they were all like, wow, like leaning in. But the faces, I couldn't, it's like they couldn't get near that light. That's the only way I can explain it. And then as I stared longer, it looked like that went away. And once again, it reminded me of a campfire, but that was the woods right out there. And the only thing I can say that it looked like is, you know, those those uh, what are, the ancient depiction of that one on the wall that just it's like long head with the eyes and they're bleeding oh yeah I saw two of them standing right at the edge of these finger woods just staring wow and, so uh, we got your name yeah RBG clear clear as day or clear, as clear, day, yeah. clear yeah. enough clear, clear, clear as day enough. Like, day is like RPG. Yeah, I, the, it, there, there was also one time where, you know, I was nervous. I, I'll be honest, you guys, at first I was like, ah, whatever, and then you hyped it up, and then I heard your ass performance, and I was like, I felt like I was on a roller coaster. Just like, okay, I'm not prepared for this. Hello, here we go. Right. And then we launched in, and then I don't know, that I'm glad you stopped yelling. Because it was it, it was just unnerving. I, I, that's, it's intense, right? It's intense, and I and I'm kind of glad that I didn't know what you were gonna do. I didn't I didn't know what you know what I mean. It, right. It's it's powerful regardless of what you believe. But yeah, that that was it. I didn't uh, the bugs in the beginning, the, the some light play, and then seeing those like just they were like in the the only time is a few of the hands would like move kind of near it, but it was slow. It was like they couldn't get near it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. And then I saw them in the trees, and I wanted to say they're out there. God, I, I feel like this was successful. Like I feel like this is a really awesome experience. Yeah, this is like, just the beginning. Uh, that's not fucking going off no yeah. more. Yeah. That thing's been going nuts. Um, Do you think it was successful <clears throat> from your point of view? Because I, I, I didn't really experience this, man. It sounds like it. I, I, yes, I think it was. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just. Uh, yeah, yeah, do um, I kind of thought that, like, Stacy, right before we did it, he said, you know, they exist right here. 
So until I got in my own kind of breathing trance, I was expecting this. I was expecting like a, can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? And that didn't happen. But the hair on the back of my neck like stood way up. And it wasn't when I was thinking that and in the pre-freak out. It was when I was like relaxed. And I was like, okay, okay, come on, show me. And then my hair on my neck said, whoop. And then once again, uh, this takes training. We gotta keep, we gotta keep coming, coming back to this. You like this? I'm, I want to push beyond my fears. I don't want to be afraid anymore. Right. I, I'm still afraid of the dark. Let's be honest. I am. That's why I go into the dark. I think the day that I'm not is the day that I'll be cool with this. Right, right. And I'll pass the torch. Yeah. But until that day, yeah, I will stand and I will look in the mirror with you boys. Nice. But yeah, that's, that's intense. And to hold that focus, I also, you know, just naturally your eyes drift off. But I saw the things like, and I think it's the blue of the light, but I saw around a blue sphere that would like, move like this through it and I think it's from staring at the light and then it goes blue but then it looked like it fractured open uh, the mirror and it was like super dark like dark 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 and then I went okay well come on out show your face like come out but I, I, I have to be honest I was I was oscillating between true bravery and yeah, you know, yeah. so I'm just being real with people. Dude, it makes me think that like maybe this thing's trying to communicate with us. So like when we were down there, that's what yeah. I was asking it to do. I was asking it to communicate through you yeah. to give us information. You know, maybe it's actually trying to say that what haunts this area yeah. is in the woods. Right. Know, maybe it's maybe it's, God, dude, I got chills. But maybe it's like a Native American thing where like yeah. you know the, the things that haunt this land are out there on the land. It's not necessarily the home. see it kind of walking but not running just kind of moving around out there so we took off running through this and I was videoing the whole time even though it's an iPhone 4 and it doesn't zoom so it it doesn't turn out as good as your you know your naked eye you, you can see it plain as day and you know what's clear to me is even despite the quality or lack of quality with the video there's when you look at it there's a line of cars there's a line of people all out with their cameras and one gal had a pretty big significant lens on hers and either it's a guy in a suit or it's big, <laughs> there, there is no in between with that. It's certainly not a bear. You can pick that up from your video. And I know as I understand it, you had grabbed that camera because everybody always asks, well, where's the other cameras? Where's the other pictures? You had grabbed that camera as I understand it from that lady and just try to zoom in as quick as you can and time was a waste and so you guys took off I, I did. I, I wanted to get it, I wanted to zoom in. I figured she had like binoculars with that zoom lens. I took the camera, I zoomed in the best I could. I just couldn't get a good zoom of it. And not just that, but it would it would come in and out because this, this grass was taller. It would come in and out. So wasted the time with that, I wanted to get closer. So I just took my phone and my son and I just, I actually left my tr truck door open on the side of this road with the truck running. Yeah. I, and yeah. I realized that I was probably out there for 10, 15 minutes chasing this thing. So in the video, you'll see my son running in front of me. Uh, and we got as close as we could, but it, kept its distance, you know, as we ran this way, it kept going that way. By the time we got into the trees, we couldn't get across the, the Mayaka River there. Uh, so, you know, that was the last I saw of it. When you went out there too, you kind of know the distance it was covering and how quickly it was covering. Now, when you ran out, what did you think? Oh, a kid could have done this, you know? I was looking at it, it wasn't a kid, first of all. It was bigger than us. I'm not gonna say it was eight foot tall, but the thickness, as big as it was, it was huge. Yeah. And, you know, I, ask, I tell people like when you see it, it, you're not you instantly know what you're looking at. It's not like what is that? Is it a bear? No, you know immediately it's not a bear. You know exactly what it is. That's why you know other people pulled over. They were seeing the same thing. That's actually how I saw it. There was a truck in front of me pulled over, so I figured they were looking at deer. So I was going to go around, and when I glanced to the right and I saw what they were looking at, I pulled in real quick, and then I got out. My son and I got out, we were, you know, kind of excited, you know, you get, everybody was really kind of excited, you know, you know, adrenaline was going on. So we took off to get closer. And then of course, as we ran that direction, it was moving away from us and it would stop and move away and then we'd lose sight of it, but we kept going. But we could only get to the creek and before we got to the Mayaka River there, it, had, it, it went right into those trees. And I had noticed for a couple weeks coming through here that I'd never seen, I, I've, I've come through this park since I was born. I'm my whole life fish these both these lakes, so I know this park pretty good. And there's buzzards. And in the winter time there's might be more buzzards than normal. But I had never seen buzzards like this. Mm. Thousands upon thousands of buzzards. And I said to myself every day driving through, why so many buzzards? And it just struck me funny. 
So now after seeing that and coming back, figuring out what's going on, I found out with so many buzzards. There were just a ton of healthy, well, they weren't healthy anymore, pigs that were dead. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them weren't dead, some of them had snapped off legs. You know, I'd see them hopping around, snapped off legs, healthy pigs. A lot of them were freshly killed. Some of them were, you know, a little older, maybe a week old or something. But I found tons and tons of pigs out here dead. So I started getting phone calls because I put the video, I didn't think much of it, but I put the video that was that my son and I, he helped me put it up on YouTube. And I started getting phone calls from Stacy and these guys. The other thing that I did is I started getting over into those woods up at that end. And I found some footprints up in there, uh, 15 inches. Plain as day footprints, took pictures of them, measured them, 15 inches, and I found a couple of them, and they were all 15 inches. So I don't think 15 inches is huge, but it's not, you know, nobody from this park can get into that. That whole area is off limits. There's no campers over there. There's a, there's a the creek between here and there. You have to go over here, actually, no trespassing, go across the dam, can't even do it anymore mm -hmm. to get over there. So I took Stacy and those guys uh, on a Saturday night, one week later, at 10 30 at night and we all got in a line and started walking through the woods and we heard something ahead of us we definitely spooked something up i heard it just tearing through the woods yeah. and it came by this way and that's when i asked him because i thought y'all were way ahead of me i thought y'all were way i was like what the fuck are they doing and i was like josh and then he goes what and he's walking back off over here behind me this thing went, it went over and then it went up Hey, I, like I said. Because when I got up with them, I said, where are they at? I could still hear it up here. Whatever it was, it was big because I just had this up and it went straight across the screen. Sure enough, Sunday morning, another person videotaped the exact same thing I did about three miles down this river where the highway, uh, highway 70 is, or 72, highway 72. Uh, comes out and the river goes through. Lady videotaped the exact same thing I videotaped. And to be honest with you, from that day on, the park went back to normal and it's been several years now and I've never noticed anything like I did back then. It, it was different then and, it's, and I don't believe it's around here anymore. I do believe it, when it got flushed out, it hasn't come back. like a little tripod, monopod. Oh yeah, that's true, that's a good idea. Yeah, because like you're illuminating everything for me, it's really nice. Yeah, it looks good on camera. Yeah. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Yeah, this is like where we saw that shit right here. It's almost like a left footprint. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe you've had two toes. That is cool, though. Yeah. back to where those pine trees are back there. Can we um, get one person here, maybe one person 100 yards that way and another person 100 yards that way? I can stay here if you want to go that way until you're like comfortable and we'll like hang out for a few minutes. Yeah.
दिया है and down this road for a few hours tonight and, and when I say this road this spot that I'm standing right next to Roger took me to specifically and said this is where they cross we do have one property that we hear him grinding and working in his workshop I don't know if that's detoured from any activity tonight but we, we didn't get any activity tonight is what I'm saying but this is kind of ground zero for the entry point into this whole Mr. Rogers you know, neighborhood with all these encounters, but we'll, uh, it's late. Let's, let's pack it in and go convene back at Roger's property with the rest of the group. See what happens tomorrow. Buster, come here. Here. Right here. Come here. Buster. Uh, it's just busted open from last night. That's all that is. You okay, boy? Oh, yeah, he's ready for another one. Yeah. Well, we'll make a call and then we'll just we'll head back and we'll yep. listen. Okay. And who knows? I mean, if. That would have attracted anything. <laughs> so if that didn't work, we should. Sure. Yeah. So you want to hit this? You want to hit this? You want me to roll it? Maybe it don't matter. Want? I'll do it if y'all don't want to. So. No, no. Let me. Let me get back. I don't want to hurt really nobody. <laughs> I'm just gonna. so it wasn't as powerful as <laughs> <laughs> <anymore. laughs> Tastes like something calls back. <laughs> Everyone has like a different approach. You know, some people do the scream, some people make it more shriek. Hanging with Bobo all those years, it was just about trying to sustain it and really, you know, make myself sound like I'm powerful. Didn't work. Didn't work. <laughs> I believe it. It was the laryngitis. <laughs> it was the laryngitis <laughs> I got today. Oh, 
mouth out. Yeah, it is. So basically what this is, is we reached out to this company called SmartSol and uh, they have dissolving tape, dissolving thread, all this cool stuff. Um, and so we're hoping to attach this collar with GPS and it stays on long enough to track the pig. Hopefully the pig attracts uh, some attention from Squatch. Um, and the thing about the paper is though, is that uh, you give it like 30 seconds or more in straight water and it dissolves. So it's a really an amazing product. You'll be able to feel your feet again, bud. He's live. All right. Five back. Back on. Back on. Here, you're just gonna run the fuck off. You ready? Yep. Three, two, two one. Patrick, really wish you were here, you and Steve, um, this is your baby, and so thank you for entrusting us uh, with it, setting up the 360 periscope, boom, that goes in the front, remember if, these, if this Foo Fighter shows up and moves around the room, that thing is going to track the static uh, electricity that lets off, and so now I just have to make sure the laser is pointed into the uh, crystal, and then turn on the machine, which will start spinning and uh, hopefully create this pretty amazing light signature. So let, let's, let's see what we got. Whoa. Uh, this light needs to be off. Sorry. It's gonna be hard to... So the goal, the aim is to create a cyclone of light. A cyclone of all ever-changing like it looks like you're looking into a portal down there. So we'll let it run for a bit because he says sometimes it's gonna take an hour uh, to draw him in, to figure it out. Reminds me of Star Trek all of a sudden. Boldly going when no man has gone before. Maybe they shouldn't. But we say they should. Oh well, no, dude. Between like the chant and homemade Vortex machine, you know, I don't know. I mean, I know that there's stuff that goes on in this house and has, and I've experienced it before, but you know, as far as tonight goes, it's a crapshoot. We're kind of throwing everything out. So I guess we'll see what happens. So we didn't really have any luck, any Bigfoot activity tonight. So now we're Trying a few other experiments. RPG's got his little light experiment going on upstairs. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm just here, man. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what's supposed to happen. Maybe a fucking orb's supposed to crash through the wall or something, but it's a big dud, I think. Big old dud. But we try everything because we keep an open mind, <laughs> right? I know he showed some, he expressed some concerns, but I have full faith in him. Um, Stacy's got some weird chanting stuff. I don't know how I feel about all that. Some weird ass shit. <laughs> but at this point, do whatever, do whatever we can to try to 
get a response on something. All right, boys. That's uh, Patrick Jackson's atomic flashlight. Um, what to say, man, when we first did it, all that high strangeness, goats under the house, cattle breaking through the gates. I was like, dude, when we do this for real, it's gonna, you know, blow the sky open and nothing. So what to think, right? Like my thought is, um, it's not my experiment. I'm not an engineer. I built it. So maybe the fault lies in me doing it. You know what I mean? Well, maybe, maybe there's no spheres here. Uh, feel that? What the hell is that? You feel that? Yeah, but listen, we're supposed to only have like three people up here. We've got like six, so we need to start filing downstairs. Yeah, that was really weird. It was weird. Kind of that. Like Stacy said, to to his point and your point, yeah, maybe you know your energy is a problem, or B, you suck as an engineer. Whoa! All right, I know you. Come on, that. I felt that. Hey, I'll be down here. What's up, man? Emma seeing something out back. Oh, oh shit! Come on. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. They're fucking busting our wall. Look at that shit. Come on, man.